everybody, my name is Alicia and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to review the newer Bay's Weekender Mini Comfortable. Here it is right here. I love it already. Um, this is my first Bay's product, so I'm really excited to use it. I go to LA tomorrow and I got this in a couple days ago, so I've already been checking out all the features, but I'm going to go ahead and direct you over to the video of the actual unboxing. That way you can see exactly what it looks like when you receive it, at least in 2022, if you are looking to see how it's shipped. I know some of you might be surprised that this is coming in a poly bag considering how expensive some of her other products are, but this kept the shipping cheap even though I actually paid for shipping which was like $15. So please spin the wheel, get your 15% off or $15 off from a promo code in my show notes down below and save yourself some money. Now, one of the things you'll notice as I try to open the bag is it will collapse, and I'm sure that's because it was folded. I had to get some extra wrapping paper or tissue paper that I keep from Amazon and stuff this for a little bit just to help keep it popped out. So now I just want to point out on this part, the straps are not leather. At least I can't tell. To me, they're pleather. Sorry y'all, on this part I realized it was tied together so I had to go grab some scissors really quick to snip them apart. So it does come with a strap. It's not a very high quality strap, but it's there if you need to use it. I actually am just gonna keep it in the bag with me in case I ever need to use it. And when you're, fir when you're first opening up this bag, it will collapse on you a few times. You have to really pop it out to make sure that it doesn't collapse. And I love the bottom part. I guess they decided to go ahead and build more cardboard into the bottom portion. So it's very sturdy. This is what it looks like without the bottom if you ever wish to use it as a tote bag, which is the number one reason why I got the convertible. Now that's one of the hooks where you put the strap, but I personally am gonna be using it to put my AirPods hooked on there since I will be using them throughout the airport. But it's so cute. Now I do have a video here in a little bit where I will show you what this whole bag looks like on my five foot three inch frame. That way you can get an idea of how big or small it is and the reason why I picked this. The smaller one at least because i know there's the original which i've heard is massively huge now what i do like about this bag even though i had to try a little bit i was able to open the bag with just one hand because obviously i have the camera in my other hand and that is some of the extra stuffing that i had in there for about an hour just to kind of help the shape um get sturdy a little bit because it kept collapsing on me now, the inner lining, I feel, is made really, really cheap. It almost feels like really cheap, thin plastic paper. So I'm not really too happy about that, but I understand that, you know, they've got to cut costs somewhere. I do love the laptop sleeve. I kind of feel, though, it is a little heavy. Thank goodness my laptop is 1.2 pounds because this will add a little bit of weight. And, hey, if you don't need it, you can use it for documents or you know, just additional little things, or you can actually take it out and just use the empty sleeve that's in there, in that area. I do wish they would have put more pockets on the back side. again, for documents or receipts or just anything that, you know, I like to accumulate while I'm on vacation, usually receipts, would be a great place, or maybe the back side could have been a, a, another zipper. That way you can secure more things in there. So that's the sleeve or the laptop sleeve went into. And now I'm rotating it to the other side where it actually has a zipper, a large zipper, and then two additional pockets that you'll see here in a bit. 
And then you've got two additional pockets down there. A little hidden because it's all black on the inside. But black is better. It just doesn't stain as easy. There's another shot of the inside of the bag. And then of course you've got your, I guess, little... Yeah, that one came like that. Hopefully it doesn't give me any problems. But yes, you can actually put this bag to fit right, right over your roller luggage, basically, handle. The hardware is very high quality, and I love that part. And I guess if you don't hook this onto something, you could use it as a tiny little pocket, although I wouldn't put any valuables in there. I want to show you guys what this looks like. Now, I'm 5'3", okay? I'm 5'3". I don't know what more you need to know about me, but I'm 5'3". <laughs> so if you're trying to grasp how this might be against your body and why I didn't get the original Weekender, like the larger one, is because in a couple reviews, a lot of people kept saying it was massive. So I immediately, I think I saw one video of a girl that was the same height as me with the Weekender, the original Weekender against her. And I was like, yeah, no, <laughs> I might as well just have another, uh, uh, another suitcase at that point. So I'm going to step back so you can see what this looks against my body, even though I probably wouldn't carry it like this as much, maybe in and out of the car. So, okay, so I'm 5'3", that's me. And here we go. Actually, I'm going to adjust this a little bit and put the camera back so you can really see more of my body. Okay, front, I'm 5'3", there's the side, there's the back, and then here's the other side. So I feel like there's a lot of space in here. I'm very glad I didn't get the larger one. Um, I don't know who would get the larger one besides of the fact that maybe they can just put more stuff in it and consider it a carry-on but you also have to understand if you're using this overnight bag for getting on airlines and stuff, you probably don't want the original weekender. Maybe if it was like domestic trips, road trips, that would be different. But if you want to stay in compliance and someone not consider this bag, you know, as a carry on or it weighs too much, therefore they're going to have you check it. Um, I would just say this, be prepared with some, some locks, uh, those little combination locks, because um, if for some crazy reason someone is going to consider that you've just put too much weight on here, at least, you know, the two zippers right here, you can, you know, put them close together and then put a little combination lock on it. Um, so that is what I would consider. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. And I'm about to probably also release a pack with me video so that you can see how I'm packing this Bay's Weekender Mini. Thank you.